Chinese satellite was caught red-handed when it snuck away from its position in Earth orbit to do something very unsettling. Here are the details. Deutsche Welle reports that a satellite tracking company spotted a Chinese satellite sneaking around in Earth orbit. ExoAnalytics Solutions is a private U.S. company that tracks the position of satellites using a large global network of optical telescopes. The company recently provided evidence that China's SJ-21 satellite disappeared from its regular position on January 22nd. This happened during daylight hours, when observations were difficult to make with optical telescopes. SJ-21 was later spotted executing a large maneuver to bring it closely alongside another Chinese satellite, a dead Beidou Navigation System satellite. SJ-21 then grabbed the dead satellite. Over the course of the next few days, the two spacecraft moved together westward. On January 26, they separated and the dead satellite was pushed into a graveyard orbit. Although such satellites can be used for good, the evidence is not welcome news for Pentagon policymakers, as this means China has the ability to use similar satellites to grab American satellites and destroy them by pushing them into Earth's atmosphere. A graveyard orbit is an orbit that lies far away from common operational orbits. Objects in such orbits are highly unlikely to collide with other man-made objects. After pushing the dead satellite into a graveyard orbit, SJ-21 has returned to its original position, a geostationary orbit just above the Congo Basin in Africa. China has developed a space weapon that can creep into the tailpipes of enemy satellites where it would grab on and hide, waiting for the right time to blow up. Here are the details. The South China Morning Post reports that Chinese scientists say they've created a space weapon that attaches itself to the inside of an enemy satellite's booster exhaust cone. The scientists published their weapon research in the Chinese journal Electronic Technology and Software Engineering in September. They say that the weapon is designed to fit snugly in the exhaust cones of the gas boosters that move satellites around. The device weighs only 3.5 kilograms and, once it has entered the exhaust cone, would use an electric motor to extend a thin probe that can pass through the narrowest part of the booster. Once inside the booster chamber, the probe would expand to keep the device firmly attached and hidden inside the exhaust cone. The device can then wait for a long time before it detonates a special melt-cast explosive that burns slowly, simulating an engine malfunction and severely damaging the satellite. The scientists say the probe's attachment sequence can also be reversed to release the weapon from the target. The South China Morning Post says the U.S. military has already voiced concerns about China's Shijian-17, an experimental probe with a robotic arm that has conducted some unusual maneuvers since its launch in 2016. A few years after creating a cloud of space debris by blowing up one of its satellites, China is now screaming for the UN to stop such actions after a piece of Russian debris came within a hair of hitting a Chinese satellite. The China National Space Administration, or CNSA, says that a piece of space debris from a Russian missile test came within 15 meters of hitting a Chinese satellite on Tuesday, January 18th. CNSA officials say they tracked the piece of debris hurtling past China's Tsinghua Science Satellite at a relative speed of 19,000 kilometers per hour. The piece of space junk is part of a debris cloud that contains around 1,500 pieces that are big enough to be tracked via Earth-based radar. The cloud was created when an old Russian spy satellite was blown apart by a Russian anti-satellite missile in November. Experts say the cloud of Russian debris will cause chaos for spacecraft for decades to come. The CNSA said the piece of debris was getting closer and closer to the satellite each time they completed an orbit of Earth. The two objects seem to be moving farther away from each other now, but the CNSA says that actual collisions between the pair could very likely happen in the future. CNSA officials say international laws and regulations must be passed under the framework of the UN to stop actions that increase the amount of space debris. Apart from Russia, China, the US, and India have also used missiles to blow up satellites, creating massive clouds of space debris that orbit Earth and endanger spacecraft. The International Space Station was forced to maneuver out of the way of space debris more than once in 2021, while China's Tiangong Space Station recently had to maneuver to avoid getting hit by a SpaceX Starlink satellite. The huge, 30-meter-tall core of a Chinese rocket is tumbling wildly through low Earth orbit and could crash anywhere on Earth in the coming days. The same type of Chinese rocket crashed into a village in West Africa a year ago. Here are the details. 
On Wednesday, April 28th, China launched a massive Long March 5B rocket that carried the first module of its planned space station into orbit. The Guardian reports that the core stage of this rocket was supposed to fall back to Earth in a controlled descent, but something went wrong, and the 30-meter-tall rocket stage started skipping on Earth's atmosphere. And no one knows where it will crash once the drag of Earth's atmosphere tugs it down to the planet's surface. Much of the core will likely burn up in the atmosphere, but there is a chance that some chunks of debris will survive the re-entry and rain down on the land or ocean. This, sadly, wouldn't be the first time. In May 2020, a Long March 5B rocket slammed through the atmosphere, partially burning up during its descent. The core fell largely into the Atlantic Ocean, but some debris landed in West Africa. According to the South China Morning Post, some chunks of debris crashed into houses and villages in Cote d'Ivoire, though thankfully, no casualties were reported. On Tuesday, May 4th, the latest out-of-control Chinese rocket was orbiting Earth around once every 90 minutes at a speed of about 27,600 kilometers per hour and an altitude of more than 300 kilometers. The U.S. military has named it 2021-035B, and its path can be seen on websites that track objects in Earth's orbit. The rocket crashing toward the moon is not the same one astronomers thought it was. Here's the updated version of the events. The rocket part crashing toward the moon is not the upper stage of a SpaceX Falcon 9, as was suggested by astronomers last month. Rather, it is most likely to be part of the Long March 3C rocket that launched China's moon-bound Chang'e 5T1 mission in October 2014. Astronomer Bill Gray, who originally identified unknown object WE0913A as a Falcon 9, published a correction on his Project Pluto blog on Saturday after receiving a note from John Giorgini, an engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Giorgini said that the original trajectory of the SpaceX rocket did not go especially close to the moon when it launched the NOAA's Deep Space Climate Observatory to the Lagrange Point 1 in 2015, and thus it would be a little strange if the second stage stayed close close enough to strike it. Confirming the misidentification, Gray explained he and other researchers found that WE0913A went past the moon two days after the NOAA's Deep Space Climate Observatory launch and had wrongly believed that the timing, the object's brightness, and a reasonable orbit made it a match. He added that he originally explained some apparent strangeness in the object's early orbit compared to what was known about the NOAA's Deep Space Climate Observatory's launch by assuming it was caused by rocket fuel leaking out and altering its trajectory. Now, having reanalyzed data of launches around the same time, the booster from China's Chang'e 5T1 mission has been found to have an initial high orbit going past the moon that makes it the more likely candidate to be the object colliding with the moon on March 4th, though Gray points out that the evidence remains necessarily circumstantial. In 2014, the Chang'e 5T1 mission sent a test capsule to slingshot around the moon and return to Earth in preparation for 2020's Chang'e 5 mission, which involved a robotic lunar sample return. In defense of his initial misidentification, Gray added on his blog that even SpaceX appears not to know the location of its own Falcon 9 upper stage, as it had not actually refuted the original claim. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.